Hi, I'm Susan with Town Center Realty Group. Welcome to Home Tip Tuesdays. Welcome to the second episode of Home Seller Tips on our Home Tip Tuesday series. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of pricing your home correctly, which is probably the most important thing you can do when you're selling your home. When you hire an agent, they're going to give you a comparative market analysis or a CMA. Now, there are three different parts to this report. Part one are going to be the active sales. This is everything that is currently for sale in your area that is similar to your property. So it'll either have similar square footage or similar bedroom and bathroom count and also probably similar upgrades. Now, remember when you're looking at actives, this price really doesn't matter that much because it's just what the sellers are hoping to get when they sell their home. The second part are the uh, pendings. Now, pending means that it's currently in escrow, so they've accepted a contract. Now, these are great to know also because it's not like you know what they're selling it for because you won't have that information until the escrow actually closes, but it at least lets you know that that was priced correctly enough to get people to go in to look at the house and also to write an offer. So those comps are helpful as well. But the ones you really want to focus on are the sold comps because these are comps that actually sold in your area within the past six months. Now the reason we use six months is because when appraiser goes to appraise the home they're gonna go back six months um, for the solds. They can't go back any further than six months so they're gonna look at everything that's similar to your home that's sold in the last six months. Now the reason that the appraiser is so important is because for most buyers they're only putting 10 to 20 percent down when they purchase the home which means that the lender is actually gonna be owning 90 to 80 percent or 80 to 90 percent of that home so it's very important to the lender that that property appraises or they may not give you the money for your loan so you're going to be looking at each of those three categories you're going to be looking at actives pendings and souls to come up with the correct price for your home. Now, there also are three routes that you could go when you're pricing your home. You could price it at market value, and your tent at market value will tend to get a lot of showings and you'll get some offers coming in. Some sellers prefer to to list it really slightly above market value. Um, they're hoping for maybe that one needle in a haystack buyer that's gonna love their house so much that they don't mind if they're overpaying for it or that it doesn't appraise. Now, if you're pricing it a little bit higher, generally it's gonna take longer to sell because you're gonna have to find that perfect buyer. However, the best way to probably price your home is to price it slightly below market value because if it's below market value, you're going to get a lot of showings and you're probably going to get a lot of multiple offers that could quite possibly bid your price up. And many times, in the long run, you're going to end up selling it for more money if you list it lower rather than start higher and work your way down. Anyhow, so again, very important to price the home correctly. If you have any questions, please write it in the comments and please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next week.